I am currently in Berlin, Germany, and that is partly what has inspired today's topic, which is the idea of freedom. When I say freedom, I mean specifically freedom from the restraints that we place upon ourselves. One thing that I've noticed walking around Berlin today, and I've noticed this when I've been traveling in the past, but I think it was particularly relevant today because I'm here alone in a foreign city that I don't know all that well, and I, there's nobody that I know here. Uh, I noticed this freedom from certain inhibitions that I would have if I was for example, back in, back home, back in England, back somewhere where people knew me or where I knew that people could understand what I was saying. There was sort of like a loosening of the, the tense shoulders when I realized that I am a complete stranger here. I was stood at the top of this monument looking out across the, the whole city and I was like, there's not one person here that I know and there's not one person here that knows me. And with that, there's a certain, well, first of all, there's a certain like irrelevance. And with that comes the realization that any judgment that is passed towards you is meaningless. And this is maybe something that is true when I am at home in England around people that I do know, but it's definitely very prevalent when I'm in this completely foreign situation. I would almost feel more comfortable talking to someone that I didn't know here than I would back in England. And obviously part of that is a societal thing of like, England has this kind of, I feel like English people, we all have this kind of unspoken thing of like, put your head down and get on with it, you know what I mean? And it depends which part of the country you're from, like, obviously like, I'm from the Northwest and we are generally more friendlier than our fellow Brits down in like London, for example. But I still think there's this thing of like, I don't know, I just, I, it might even be a personal thing. I do generally feel more judged, even though I'm not. That's the thing, right? Because everyone has got their head down on the most part but yet you still feel judged now i don't quite know why that is i also partly think it's just because as a society we being you know british people are generally less accepting of people that are outside the quote-unquote norm whereas i don't know maybe in other countries that isn't the case regardless of the cause there is definitely a certain like lostness that comes with being in somewhere that is completely foreign to you and where you are not only out of your comfort zone but out of your social circle. It's this feeling that the judgments and opinions of others don't matter. Now there's a thing actually because it's not even maybe that you feel less judged in other countries. I just personally feel like if I am being judged here, why does it matter? These are people that don't know me, I don't know them. They don't even live in the same country as me. They might not even speak the same language as me. So if, you know, YouTube is a, is a great sort of um, litmus test for this because I feel more comfortable vlogging when I'm away than I would do in like when I, when I visited London, for example. Even London, I guess like I did feel kind of comfortable, but if I was to walk around Liverpool, for example, vlogging, I would definitely feel more self-conscious. Whereas here, like even if I can feel people looking at me and maybe they're thinking, why is he filming himself? That's a bit weird. Maybe it's a bit weird. It's like, why does it matter? Like why, why do their opinions matter? And this is the thing though, the same is true no matter where you are, right? If I was to walk through Liverpool, a city that I know very well, a city that I've worked in for like four, four years, five years, and I was to vlog, film myself, and I could feel people looking at me, even though, yeah, there is that societal thing of maybe in England, there is this tendency to look on people that are doing things a bit differently with a sort of attitude of like, uh, what, uh, why, why are they doing that? Like, even though there is that thing, it still matters just as little what they are thinking of me as it does what people in other countries may be thinking of me while I'm doing it. And I think that freedom that I feel when I'm away is part of the reason that I love traveling so much. A lot of people will travel to quote unquote find themselves. I just like being lost like in, in other places, you know, like 
I like not knowing where I'm going. I like the fact that no one knows who I am. You know what I mean? There's almost a, it, like, it takes the pressure off, I suppose. And some of that pressure is definitely self-projected. You know, like it might not be the case that anyone, you know, using the, the vlogging example, it might not be the case that anyone gives a fuck if I'm filming myself in public. But because I know how people around me think and maybe how I've thought in the past, I project that um, judgment onto them, onto me, you know what I mean? Like, I saw this thing like years ago, I think it was, it might have been Jay Shetty saying it. And he was saying, you know, I am what I think you think I am. Right, and there's, there's like a level to that. So essentially, I am, the person that I am is affected by what I think you're thinking of me. Because the reality is like, you're probably not thinking anything of me, you know? And this is this was a big thing to help, that I used to help me get out of, um, to sort of get over social anxiety. You walk in, you can walk into a room, say you walk into a coffee shop, right? And if you're socially anxious, you think, oh my God, everyone's looking at me, everyone's judging me. So you put your head down, right? You're like, I, I'm blocking them out. I don't want to look at them because they're looking at me, right? And you sort of become this like inward thing. But really, if you look at people, you'll notice that no one's looking at you because that's just the reality. A lot of the time, they're also thinking the same thing. It's like when you start the gym, when you first start the gym, you're like, oh, everyone's gonna be judging the way I'm fucking working out. Everyone thinks that when they first go, but everyone's too focused on their own thing when they're in the gym to actually give a fuck about what some newbie's doing. You know what I mean? So it's like, I am projecting my insecurities onto people around me and thinking that that's what they're thinking of me and that affects who I am. I think what I am aspiring to have, and I've had this in the past, but I'm aspiring to get it back, is to, to be able to carry this freedom that I feel when I'm traveling, you know, this 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 uh, like attitude of, I don't give a fuck what these people around me think of me because why does it matter? Because I'm in a completely foreign place. I'm trying to capture that and carry that through my day-to-day -day life. And I think that's something that we could all benefit from is just not letting our perception of what other people might or might not think of us affect who we are and affect how we act. Now, obviously there's caveats to that because you should care what people think to a degree, right? And it's, you know, certain, you're gonna act certain ways in certain situations because you're sort of conforming to what is acceptable in that social environment, right? And that's fine, that is natural, that is what you should do because that's, you know, being part of a society. But I think what we should all strive for is to be able to do the things we want to do and be the people that we want to be, regardless of what we may think other people might be thinking of us. So anyway, let me know if you have any thoughts on that. I will catch you probably tomorrow with another one. Good night.